Hey everyone, it's about time that I get some more engaging content on my channel. So, I came up with this new series, well, not necessarily came up with it, it's not exactly the most original thing, but it does seem like a very fun thing to do. It's called Engines of Mark. You might have heard of Amtrak Guy 365's Engines of Amtrak and Thunderbolt 1000 Siren's Engines of SEPTA, and I thought I'd give it a go with my favorite commuter system. I'm not completely sure if anyone else has attempted this before, but I'm going to try ahead and do it myself just to see, you know, if I can do it and generally try to improve my own skill in making videos. So without any further ado, let's get to learning about what might be Mark's most iconic locomotive, the AEM-7. This story starts on May 1st, 1971 the formation of the National Railroad Passenger Corporation, more commonly known as Amtrak. When Amtrak was created, it assumed control over the United States' deteriorating passenger rail system. Among this system was the Northeast Corridor, an electrified route between Washington, D.C. and New Haven, Connecticut. To operate on this route, Amtrak inherited Penn Central's aging GG1 and unreliable Metroliner units. It was quite clear that new power was going to be needed for service on the corridor. However, there were no American manufacturers available to create a new high-speed engine, and Amtrak was forced to use GE's E60 locomotives, which were not suited for speeds above 90 miles an hour, and the design of their trucks made them prone to derail. The E60s wouldn't suffice, and Amtrak was still in need of a permanent solution. In between 1976 and 1977, Amtrak brought in a locomotive from overseas, the French SNCF Class CC21000, numbered X996. X996 was able to reach a top speed of 120 miles per hour, which was a suitable speed for Northeast Corridor service. However, its suspension was unable to cope with the rough track conditions on the corridor, and its French crews were constantly complaining about their state. Ultimately, X996 was returned to France and served on SNCF until their retirement in 2006. However, Amtrak wasn't done and tested out another locomotive, the Swedish RC4. The RC4, nicknamed the Swedish Meatball by American crews, was numbered X995. It was capable of speeds up to 110 miles per hour and was favored by Amtrak due to its significantly better performance on the Northeast Corridor. The RC4 would become the basis for the AEM-7, starting its production by EMD in the Swedish ASEA in 1978 for Amtrak. The new AEM-7, dubbed the Toaster due to its boxy shape, made its first revenue run for Amtrak on May 9, 1980, pulling a Metroliner service. The locomotive proved to have great performance, and the GG1s, E60s, and Metroliners could finally be retired. In 1987, the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority ordered seven of the locomotives, but a year prior is when Mark ordered its four AEM-7s. Mark, or Maryland Area Regional Commuter Rail's AEM-7s, came in 1986 and were numbered 49,000 through 4903. The AEM-7s were capable of a top speed of 125 miles per hour, making Mark the fastest commuter railroad in North America. They are equipped with dual pantographs and head-end power. Their horn was a Nathan K5LA. Here are some samples. Mark's AEM-7s were used in push-pull service along the Penn Line from Washington, D.C. to Perryville, Maryland, along with their brand new Mark II coaches. 16 Mark II coaches and 11 cab cars were delivered between 1985 and 1987, with 28 more coaches and 6 more cab cars coming from 1991 to 1993. Units 7711 through 7714 were converted to bike cars made for commuters to store their bikes. In 1989, New Jersey Transit purchased several ABB ALP44s, an improved version of the AM7. SEPTA also acquired one ALP44 as the result of a lawsuit. However, Mark didn't show interest in the ALP44 and continued with its AEM7 fleet. In 1996, Mark ordered six Bombardier Alstom HHP-8 electric locomotives. The HHP-8s, while mechanically unreliable, being completely removed from Amtrak in just a few years, ran along the AEM-7s into the 2010s. 
The beginning of the end came in 2013, when plans were made to replace all of Mark's electric fleet with diesel locomotives. Mark's new MP36 diesels had been running since 2009, but another locomotive was needed to fill the gap that the electrics would leave. The answer came in 2015 with the Siemens SC44 Charger. Mark ordered eight chargers, which are due to be delivered from December of 2017 to April 2018. With replacements on the way, Mark's AEM-7s made their last runs in April of 2017. Three were placed into storage at Riverside Yard in Baltimore, while one was placed into storage at Amtrak's Ivy City Yard in Washington, D.C. At some point, the AEM-7 at Ivy City was reunited with its sisters at Riverside. After the retirement of the AEM-7s, Mark's HHP-8s were refurbished for a few more years of service. However, as of the time of writing this script, the HHPAs haven't been seen for months. 4913 blew a traction motor, and 4910's head-end power generator literally exploded. According to my sources, the rest have all been taken out of service due to brake issues. It's not certain if they'll be seen again, and if so, then it spells the end for electric locomotives running on Mark. As Mark's longest-running, fastest, and most reliable locomotives, you can't deny that the AEM-7 was an iconic machine. The AEM-7 and their ALP-44 cousins served well for Mark, Amtrak, SEPTA, and New Jersey Transit for many years. But now it's time to move on to new generations, with Amtrak and SEPTA choosing the ACS-64, New Jersey Transit choosing the ALP-46, and Mark going with the SC-44 high-speed diesel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know either in the comments or by giving a like. Though this is a small channel, I hope videos like these can help me grow and improve my skills. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.